everyone, Lori from Art Laura. Thanks for joining me today. A few of my subscribers have asked if I um, had the dried results. Well, today I do. This one is a 15 by 30 um, gallery wrap and it's a commission piece. The client picked the colors. She has not seen it yet, so I'm very excited for her. It's going in her office. I had a lot of paint left over, so I thought I would do um, another size. This one is 18 by 24 and I think they both turned out spectacular. So they dried real nice. We just need a top coat. I'm gonna let them cure for about another week just to make sure that they're really, really dry. And then uh, it'll be going to its forever home. So uh, before we get to the video, I would like to give a shout out to Amanda from Crystal Coast Originals. She's amazing. Check her out. Her swipes are phenomenal. Her Dutch bloom, uh, they are just so beautiful and um, she's a sweetie pie. So give her um, a, a, a chance to come into your home as well. Give her a like and a subscribe. And um, yeah, so let's get down to the canvas. We'll get this going and you're going to see how I accomplish this and um, I'll be good. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the video. Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing today? So I haven't poured in a little while and um, I'm excited about this pour today because it's going to be for um, a friend of mine and it's a custom um, for her. She picked the colors and I'm loving the palette that she picked. Um, it's just basically uh, four colors. We're not gonna go crazy, but the colors are so pretty and they're gonna pair together very, very well. Um, it's going to challenge me. We're going to be doing a 15 by 30 canvas today. And this is a gallery wrap from Michaels. I've already got my pillow down, which is the Multi-Pro Interior um, 473110. I always have to focus on that number. And it's the eggshell, and I get that at Home Depot. And so without further ado, um, we're gonna get down to the canvas. We're gonna make a mess, and we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna show you my colors. And yeah, so let's get to it. All right, we're gonna pop you down here real quick and make sure you're in frame. It's nice to have a tripod. It is so much easier than a ladder, I must say. And as you can see, I got a new spinner. Um, this one here came from Wayfair. I can't even tell you the brand because I can't find it anymore. All I know is it came from Wayfair and it was 80 bucks. So um, we're going to give it a whirl, no pun intended, today. We're going to give it a spin with a spinning bloom. And see how it works. See how it goes. Oh, this one's looking just a little bit thick. I'm going to thin it down as I talk about my colors. This one here, I took cobalt blue and I did that was uh, Liquitex and then I did Artist Loft uh, deep green and I mixed uh, it was mostly the blue and then I kept adding the green into it to create this beautiful beautiful teal and I think it's going to be gorgeous oopsies I got a little yucky there Okay, so there you have it. Isn't that pretty? And that actually is going to be my first color that I'm going to put down. Uh, I will, I'm going to call these out in sequence of how I'm going to be pouring. So there's the, the teal. I say the twirl, the teal. Oh, goodness. Okay, and here is Golden's Nickel Azel Gold. I haven't used her in a while, and I'm going to give my azo gold a little try again today i just absolutely adore that color this one here is just straight out of the tube and it was the arteza silver just beautiful perfect silver yep a light silver so i'm hoping that it shows i didn't want to go too dark because the teal is dark so i really hope this shows up and then last but not least, I took Artist Loft Red Ochre, and then I took uh, Liquitex Burnt Sienna. And I mixed these two up because she wanted kind of a burnt orange tone. And I think 
this will pair well uh, and complement each other with the Azo Gold. Um, I'm hoping that the Azo Gold will kind of float itself around in with this and give this a little bit of sparkle and glimmer and shimmer. And uh, this will obviously be beautiful with the teal. So I think it's going to be a lovely palette. And then, of course, last but not least, my cell activator. And today I've been doing, used to do three to one, then I did four to one. Now today I'm going, I did about three and a half to one. And I do the Aussie Flow Troll and the Oxide Black by Amsterdam. So I don't know if this may be a little too thick, but we'll see. It actually does look a little thick for me. So I think... I'm just going to put a quick little squirt in there. There, done. And then I'll quick give that a stir. So, there we go. That is a little better. It's, didn't change it like a ton, but you can see that it drizzles. It drizzles a little bit better. It's not leaving so much of a trace. It probably... Yeah, that's that's better, way better. Okay, let's get to it. And high air. Yowza. Wow, that is really pretty. Yeah, I like her colors a lot. And you know, that bloom is actually pretty good in size. I may get away with just three and maybe just do a couple little tiny something or others on the corners just to kind of close off. We don't want a whole lot of negative space, but I am digging how big that bloom went out. I'm loving that a lot. So let's just throw another one right here. And I'm going to stay in the same um, sequence of color. I really like, she loves teal. So we've got some great teal going on. So let's do one right here. Maybe don't need to add quite nearly as much, but the uh, nickel as a gold, I think I could add a little bit more of that because um, it did come through pretty nicely. I'm not seeing a whole lot of silver, but maybe that will show up. Oh, I do see some silver in there. Yeah, oh, there's some silver coming up in there too. Yeah, there is, but I think I could add more. Oh, look, there's silver in the center where the um, cells are popping in the center. So I'm actually not going to drizzle this one this time. Um, darn little, oh, these little bubbles. I just made this all up right now, so it's fresh. Cut off the press. And um, yeah, we all can relate to bubbles. Sounds like a clown. Bubbles the clown. All right, and there's a nice bubble coming up there too. Perfect, all right, here we go. Here is our cell activator, last but not least. All right, a little bit more noise.
looks great. And I am seeing more silver this time. I did hit a little bit of the white there, but that's okay. Uh, the cell formation is quite lovely with the, um, even though I hit the white, it's not bad. I don't mind that at all. And there's some silver in there with a little bit of the teal popping through. Um, nice silver going on there. All right, so I think we're going to be uh, safe and get by with um, three blooms today. So what I'm going to do though, is I would like to add just a little bit more paint right here in case I extend the bloom out a little bit beyond. There we go. That's all I wanted to do right there. Okay, I'm just going to lock that in place and lock this one in place on the edge there. Okay. And we're staying in the same order. I do like it a lot. So since we've got one here, center, one center there, I think I'm just going to go over a scant. I don't think it'll be so bad. I just don't want it exactly in line with that one. So we're going to actually go center. I probably should have brought that in a little closer, but I think it'll be all right. Yeah, this is a really pretty color palette. Yeah, there's a lot of silver popping up in there. I can see it. All right, cell activator. All right, here's the noise. Is looking amazing. Massive cell action there that will probably come off quite a bit, which is okay. Um, lots of action going on in all of this. Yes, I think it's going to be quite pretty once we spin. But I definitely want this to set up a little bit more. These all came together quite nicely in the center. I didn't puff, didn't add anything extra, just straight from the blow dryer. Um, yeah, let's, let's give this a few minutes, okay? In the meantime, what I can do is fill in my corners, let that set up, if you're hungry, go grab a snack, and we'll be back. Okay, we are back, and I have to express to you about sometimes when I say things, I don't think um, about what I'm saying. And when I said go get a snack, I was thinking, because I paused my camera, you guys were on pause too, so... No, it's just sometimes, just ignore sometimes when I say things because my brain doesn't always work. I always blame it on menopause, so I don't know. But anywho, this is looking really good. Everything's come to the center. Let's give it a nice little spin here and see what happens. I've got my paints all covered. Oopsies, they're falling. Sorry, technical difficulty there. Okay, I hope this uh, spinner, I hope it's stuck pretty good. 
Let's give it a little spin and see what happens. Whoa, we got massive paint coming off of there. But that's good. I'm glad I did a gentle spin. This spinner is very different than my other spinner. My other spinner was the Kutek 12-inch uh, spinner, and I got that on Amazon, and I love that spinner. But with this spinner being so much wider around, so much bigger around the plate, your spinning uh, momentum is much bigger. So yeah, whoa, that's different. Wow, look at that, isn't that pretty? That is coming out so nice. Yeah, in love with her color combination, very much. Okay, let's do it one more time. We've got a few little guys here to fill in. I'm gonna grab my spoon in a moment. Let's just give this one more little, um, let's see, do I wanna go this way again? Yeah, just a little one and see what happens. And then I'll measure and I'll give it a little measure with my skewer and see how that looks. We do have paint coming off, so. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. A few little white little speckles here that I just want to get rid of. Seems to me. Yeah, we've got to spin this just a little bit more, I think, because um oh I have paint all over me now in my face. Uh it's a little deep. Yep, just a little bit deep. I want, to, I want just a little bit less paint on there. Um, so we're going to spin it again. I think I'm going to continue on the same direction just because it's looking pretty good. And I like what's falling off and I want it to stay in that same direction of falling off. So we're going to go this way again. I'll tell you one thing, the larger, um, obviously the larger surface of the spinner, you can grab it easier and it's nicer that I don't have to always have to have a board on top of that smaller um, spinner. Because I had the spinner, the board, and then the canvas and it was like so much going on all at once there. Um, and this, the, the glass, you can clean up and peel everything right off so quickly and easily. Yeah, we're looking pretty darn good here. So I spun it one more time. Let's check it to just see for fun how much came off. Oh, that's way better. Can't believe it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we're a little deep there. So we'll probably have to spin it again, but I'm going to do that off camera so I don't have to bore you guys. All right, let's see. Where's my spoon? Um, so I'm going to grab some of this white here and just fill it in. As I'm at it, I might as well just scoop off a little bit off the edge here. Oh, stuck my finger in it. There. 
looking good. Okay, so I want to see which way I like it best, composition-wise. Hold my hand here. I'm going to take you down and let you see it. Um, do I like it like that? With the weight of the balloon on the bottom? Or do I like it like this? Nope, I think I like it like this. Just like that. Yes, just like that. This is really cool in here. Wait till you see that, the, the uh, cells that peeked through. That's really fun. So let me get you down and let you check it out. There's that snap. Okay, here is the first bloom. And it's amazing. I love how all those little cells popped up here and there. Great um, colors just peeking through. Um, this is pretty cool over here. And here's the second bloom. Love it. And works itself up into the last bloom way up at the top. And that has some cell action popping in there too. And that nickel azel gold, it really um, came through quite interesting. I almost want to say that it, um, in like areas like right up in here, it's very faded, and but it is so flipping cool. And see right in there, and right along there. Yeah. So it it turned out really well. I hope she's very happy with it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And um, leave me a comment. Love to hear what you have to say. And we'll see you soon. Thank you so much again. Bye.